Hello guys, today I'm going to talk about how to share folders and files among users in Linux. And the best way of doing it is to create a group and share those things under the group. Uh, so first let's create a user in the Linux sudo user add uh, Claire. And you, you should create a password for her. Okay, the user has been created. Now let's create a group, sudo uh, group add, let's call it Angular. So you have a new group and a new user. Uh, let's add this user to this Angular group. Yeah. sudo user mod a hyphen a and capitalized G and this Angular Claire. So the group name first, the username second. So we now added Claire to this Angular group. The hyphen a a is added. G is the secondary group. If you use hyphen lowercase G. Angular will become Claire's primary group. Here we are just creating a separate group for Claire. You can also use the same command to promote Claire as the super user. So let's see the group's Claire. So Claire belongs to the group Angular. If you sudo user mod a capitalized G wheel Claire. So under Fedora Linux, the super user group is called, is called wheel. Under Ubuntu, it's called sudo. So let's groups Claire. Okay, Claire now belongs to two groups, um, Wheel and Angular. And Claire is a super user because that Wheel group is the super user group name under Fedora Linux. Okay, so, so we create a group, we create a user, and we promote that user to super user. We also added that user to this newly created Angular group. Let's um, add another user to this group. User mod A G Ray Angular Ray. So added myself to that group. See, let's say groups ray. We will see. Okay, I also am a super user. I belong to this Angular group. So this Angular group group now have uh, now has two users, me and this Claire, and we are both super users as well. Now, how do we share folders among members of this group? Let's create a directory. sudo direct make directory. Let's call it app. So we're going to work on this app. Um, now let's uh, sudo change mod to, to access mod. So this 770 in binary number, we know the 7 is 1 and 1, right? 4 plus 2 plus 1 equals 7. So um, if you read a little bit about it, this change mod 770 basically says that owner of this folder can read, write, execute, whatever is in this, fo this folder. And uh, the group that this folder belongs to can also, members of that group can read, uh, execute, and write. And everybody else can do nothing. They can't read, can't write, can't execute. So that's 770. The first seven is the owner. The second seven is the uh, group the folder belongs to. And the zero is everybody else. So access control, yeah. And now we want to apply this policy to every file and subfolders uh, inside that uh, folder recursively. So sudo change mod plus s in home app. So when you create a file, it doesn't matter which folder it belongs to, it will use the authorization based on that user who created it, based on the owner. But now we will change that rule. We will say, oh, follow whatever the parent folder is. So everything created under this folder will have the same access control as the parent. So this folder and every subfolder, subfiles inside those folders belong to the group. So the group member can read, write, and execute, and the owner can read, write, and execute. So that's the 770. Okay, after creating this file and change the rules, uh, let's add these users to the file. Uh, sudo, oh, we already added the users to the file, so we let's just uh, uh, show something. Let's see, uh, cd home, uh, we can have a bunch of folders, uh, Claire app, so the app is the folder I created for that group, and let's see a list long. So you can see from here that uh, uh, Where's the app folder? The app folder you have a D, uh, D, which means it's directory, uh, RWS, RWS. So the read, write, um, execute, read, write, execute uh, for the owner and for that group. So that's first line. Okay, so now we create a user. We added two users to the group. We create a folder. We let the folder and all the subfolders and files to have an access control 770. Now uh, we want to delete the user and delete the group. So uh, to delete the user, it's very easy. sudo user del hyphen r and Claire. 
this hyphen R is necessary because when you create a user, you create a folder under this home directory, the Claire folder. You also create a mail spoo, which is a file under the var folder. So if you delete the user without this hyphen R, you will have to manually handle those files, um, those folder. If there's nothing you need from this user's account, um, nothing you need to salvage from her folder and mail spoo, then you can safely use this hyphen R to save you two extra hassles. And to delete the group, it's sudo. Uh, it's very easy. It's group del, and the group name is Angular. Now the new user and the group have been deleted. Uh, it's also better to go to that uh, folder, uh, let's say that uh, app folder we just created, because we know it's empty. There's nothing we need. We can delete it as well. So there's a Josh folder, and uh, let's sort the user del hyphen r Josh. When did I create that? I can't even remember. Okay, now we have only two, one user. Yeah, I lost a found, just myself. Okay, so that's how we do it: create a user, promote a user, assign groups, uh, create photos, assign folder access to members of that group. Okay, thank you.